Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From a poor caged creature to a lost bomb, here are 11 of the strangest and most mysterious things found by divers. Number 11. The Caesarea Treasure in February of 2015, a diver was swimming in the waters off the coast of the Israeli port town of Caesarea when he noticed something glimmering in the sand below. At first, thinking it was a piece of trash that had been stirred up in the storm the night before, he swam down to retrieve it. But this was no piece of foil. It was a gold coin with Arabic script written on both sides. He found more and more coins and called the authorities to declare the find. The region isn't known for its archaeological remains, so there was some skepticism at first, but further dives went on to retrieve more than 2,000 of the coins, all of which were 24 karat gold with more than 95% purity. The amazing thing is that they were in near perfect condition despite having been there for more than 1,000 years. The find has revealed a huge amount about the civilization that lived there while Caesarea was a part of the Islamic Fatimid dynasty. The coins were made between the year 996 and 1036 during the reigns of Caliphs al-Hakim and his son al-Zahir and had come from as far as Cairo in Egypt and Palermo in Sicily. It's proof of a wealthy and trade-reliant empire, with Caesarea being an important hub in the network. Each of the coins would have been the equivalent to a month's salary for a soldier, which means the haul would have been enough to pay an army of 2,000 for a month. Unsurprisingly, divers and researchers are now searching the site to see if there's anything else in the sand that was lost in the same way. Maybe the storms will stir up something else. Number 10. Caged Dugong Divers heading out to explore never know what they might find. These divers were in for a shock when they went out to investigate the beautiful waters of Indonesia. However, instead of enjoying sea life in its natural habitat, they were appalled to find a set of cages below the water. Someone was keeping two dugongs captive, a mother chained by her tail in one cage and her calf in the other. She was floating limply around and no one knows how long they had been kept in the cages, but diver Delin Lin said it looked like they had been locked up for weeks and told the dodo that the ropes are worn and torn. The scars and the wound on her tail are so deep, it was very heartbreaking. Dugongs are closely related to manatees and are enormous and friendly vegetarians. National Geographic reports they are easy targets for hunters and were long hunted for their meat, oil, bones, and teeth. Dugongs are already threatened by coastal development and the loss of seagrass beds. Apparently, local fishermen had captured them and decided to charge money to take a look at the dugongs, making some sort of tragic makeshift tourist attraction. The divers reported that the fishermen asked if they wanted to see them and take pictures for a fee. Remarkably, when the divers asked the dugongs' captors to release them, the fishermen agreed. But just to make sure, these divers shared their video of the incident online. Social media alerted the authorities to the nightmarish condition of these animals, and the next day they were released by officials. It was a positive end to a pretty depressing story. Sorry guys. Number 9. Pyrosome Pyrosomes are a kind of tunicate, or sea squirt, that float freely in the ocean. They are made out of thousands of little clones called zooids and can grow up to 60 feet long, although they are hollow on the inside. Every clone is an animal unto itself, and could live independently of the larger organism if given the chance, although each contributes to the larger entity's life sustenance. Technically, each one even has a spine. If split apart, they will continue to grow as independent entities. These humongous, worm-like things creep some people out, but they actually emit a soft glow and can turn all sorts of colors with their bioluminescence. In fact, that's where they get their name from, pyro, which means fire, and soma, which means body. They can produce a strong glow for quite some time. They are very rare, but divers describe them as soft and delicate, while others report that they are tough, and they have actually seen them swallow a penguin. Since they are hollow, it seems like the penguin got stuck and then drowned. And now for number 8, but first I want to say a big thank you to all of our subscribers! If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to join the Origins Explained family! Number 8. Elongated Skulls Cenotes are sinkholes where the ceiling has collapsed to reveal a diving or swimming hole. Now they are well-known tourist attractions, but they were sacred to the Maya who had a very mysterious and complex relationship with them. These sinkholes provided fresh water to the inhabitants, but some were believed to be portals to the dark and scary underworld. Sac Uayum is a cenote in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, and locals have a healthy respect for it. Recently, underwater archaeologists even discovered a lot of human remains with elongated skulls. These human skulls were most likely flattened at birth as part of the traditional head-binding process. 
Local legend says that this cenote is protected by a feathered snake with the head of a horse. That seems pretty mythical, but it's nothing compared to the reality of the situation. Archaeologist and diver Bradley Russell uncovered 15 skulls between two chambers, and more are being uncovered. Before they began, a shaman performed a ceremony to ask the gods' permission for a safe entry. It seems like something terrible happened in this place, and the stories have been passed down from generation to generation. The remains were not believed to be sacrificed. Some have suggested that they were victims of the plague, or maybe that they were buried there for religious reasons. Whatever the actual story, it is definitely a spooky place for talented divers. Number 7. Ancient Sin City The long-lost Roman city of Bahia used to be a partying hub. Indeed, some have called it the Las Vegas of Rome. Alas, all that is left of Bahia are its remains. But that doesn't make these remains any less jarring. In fact, divers have been able to explore these remains deep below the ocean's waters themselves. Throughout its history, Bahia was a destination frequented among the Roman elite class. Some of the biggest names in Roman history had vacation homes there, such as Cicero, Nero, and even Caesar. The foundation of the city sat atop volcanic vents, and relaxing hot springs peppered its entire landscape. But after being sacked by Muslim forces in the 8th century, Bahia was totally abandoned by the 1500s. Then, because of that same volcanic activity, the waters rose above its structures and engulfed them in water. But since sinking into the sea, Bahia has become a revered underwater archaeological hub. There, divers have spotted flashes of what life must have been like for its inhabitants. You can find saunas, rotundas, ornate columns and sculptures and more, barely 18 feet under the water's surface. In fact, you can team up with local divers or go check these remains out for yourself in a glass-bottomed boat. You might see the statues of Ulysses or Octavia Claudius, Emperor Claudius' sister, if you're lucky. Number 6. A Bomb If there's one thing in the world that you'd hope never gets lost, it's a nuclear bomb. But there have been occasions when this has happened. In February of 1950, a B-36 bomber was flying a training mission over the Pacific when three of its engines caught on fire, forcing the crew to abandon it. Following procedure, they jettisoned the bomb beforehand so it wouldn't be with the wreckage when the plane crashed into the mountains in northern British Columbia. For 60 years, the whereabouts of the bomb was unknown, until a diver working on an archipelago to the west of British Columbia found what he thought to be a UFO. But it turned out to be the 12-foot-long bomb. He had found the remains of the first known broken arrow, the term given to accidents involving American nuclear weapons. Fortunately for him, there was no danger for swimming so close to it, because as part of a training mission, the bomb was a dummy, containing lead instead of plutonium. It was just his lucky day. Number 5. Baltic Sea Anomaly In the summer of 2011, Swedish divers searching for treasure as part of the Ocean X team were quite surprised when they encountered a mysterious object at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. The sonar image that they took of the object is blurry, but evocative. It depicts a circular formation about 200 feet in diameter, which appears to include various ramps and staircases, structures that seem unlikely to have been formed naturally. Peter Lindbergh, leader of the Ocean X team responsible for the discovery, said that the anomaly could possibly be natural, but Swedish tabloids reported an expert saying that it was probably formed prior to the Ice Age. Plus, it's hard to avoid the fact that it looks like a UFO, or the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. They said there was a flat-looking runway leading up to the object. The team reported their cameras and satellite phones refused to work while directly above the object, and then about 200 meters away, they started working again. However, as it turns out, none of the experts actually think that the object is an alien spaceship. It made a great mysterious story and got a lot of attention for Ocean X. The real story is that nature can create many wonderful and unique things. The Baltic Sea is a glacial basin, which is an area carved through by glaciers many years ago. So these experts think that the anomaly is just a glacial deposit, an odd rock transported to a different spot by glacial activity. That would explain the strange shape and the so-called runway. Live Science asked the team to comment on this glacial deposit theory, but they did not respond. Number 4. Animal Bones Divers and scientists hit the jackpot when they found a treasure trove of prehistoric bones in an underwater cave in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Bones don't preserve very well in tropical environments, so life in the late Pleistocene in Central America has many gaps. Paleontologists slash divers went to Hoyo Negro, a submerged pit in the Sac Actun cave system. 
Among the pile of bones were, of course, several extinct species, including the skull of Arctotherium wingae, a 150-kilogram short-faced bear, and the bones of Protocyon troglodytes, a carnivorous, wolf-like animal. The animal bones were dated back to around 12,000 to 39,000 years ago. During that time, the land was dry and contained a deep pit that unsuspecting animals and humans could fall into. During and after the Ice Age, the pit was flooded and is now only accessible to divers, but these conditions have meant that the bones remain remarkably preserved. Other remains found belong to ground sloth species, tape bears, saber-toothed cats, cougars, bears, dogs, and huge elephant-like gomphotheres. It's full of all kinds of good stuff. Number 3. Haunting Sculpture This creepy underwater sculpture is made to warn us of future eco-disasters. Made to be visited by divers, it is an underwater experience like no other. Located on the Atlantic seabed off the coast of Lanzarote in the Canary Islands, this spooky pile of humans is actually a work of art, found in the Museo Atlantico. It is an underwater sculpture garden and Europe's first underwater museum. Created by British naturalist and artist Jason DeCare Taylor, it sits 46 feet underwater and features 10 large installations containing over 300 sculptures. The museum acts as an inhabitable reef for marine species, and its contents are made with Earth-friendly, pH-neutral materials that will disintegrate in a few hundred years. One of the exhibits, and perhaps the most famous, is Human Gyre, an assembly of over 200 life-size figurines depicting humans of all ages, arranged in a ring-shaped pile and seemingly dead or dying. This disturbing representation is intended as a warning against the potentially devastating effects of climate change on the world's human population. It also highlights the museum's overall theme regarding the preservation of the planet's fragile ecosystems. The museum said the artistic installation reminds us that we have evolved from marine life and are all subject to the movements and will of the ocean. Museo Atlantico is open to the public and viewable from glass-bottomed boats or by snorkeling or scuba diving, if you can handle it. Number 2. Silfra Crack The Silfra Crack is not just a crack in the sidewalk. Located in the Atlantic Rift, which forms the line that divides the European and American continents, the term crack is not figurative either. It is a giant rift in the Earth where the continental land masses meet. British scuba diver, marine biologist, and underwater photographer Alexander Mustard is one of the few people who can say they've touched two continents at the same time. He entered this silver gap between the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates near Iceland. The plates are separating at a rate of about one inch per year, and Mustard has captured breathtaking images during his dives into the crevice. It is usually hard to spot the divide between these two continents because the rift is far below the surface. However, at Silfra, the crack is right there for everyone to see, in large part due to the fact that the water which melts off of Icelandic glaciers is clear. The water, which runs underground and is then filtered through lava rock, is so clear that you can drink it without any further filtering. Because of this, people from all over the world flock to Silfra to check out the continental divide. At certain spots, you can even touch both continents simultaneously. But the water is really cold, around 24 to 28 degrees Fahrenheit, and there are risks associated with swimming in the area. However, if you are feeling adventurous and bring your scuba gear, it cannot be missed. Number 1. Hidden Underwater River As you've heard by now, there are a lot of incredible things in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Among the many mysterious and beautiful cenotes, you should consider taking a peek at the Cenote Angelita. It's one of the most mesmerizing dives in the entire world. The Cenote Angelita is a deep scuba diving sinkhole which you can explore, but what sets it apart from the rest is its centerpiece. If you look around the cenote, you will find a river that seems to flow underwater. How does this occur? When the interior limestone at the bedrock of the cenote collapsed, it formed a pit which then filled up with both salt and groundwater. When the organic stuff decomposed, it created a mist of hydrogen sulfide called a halocline that divides the groundwater from the salt water. This mist strikingly looks like a flowing river. If you visit the cenote angelita, you can go through the halocline yourself. The misty river effect doesn't stop there. Hidden in this river-like fog are leaves and branches, giving one the impression of swimming in a creepy forest. If you go do it yourself, be prepared for a surreal experience, swimming through a deep sea river, only to keep going further and further up or down, you are definitely in for a wild ride. There are many specialized tour companies that can take you on this diving experience. 
Thanks for watching. Do you ever go scuba diving? Would you like to visit any of these places? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here. See you next time. Bye.